indoor cats live longer on average than outdoor cats. I mean, they don't get hit by cars or eaten by coyotes, and they don't get deadly viral diseases. But let's face it, indoors can be pretty boring. That's why I turned my patio into a catio. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mike, the Bowtie Vet Guy. Today, I am without my bow tie because it's my day off. I am sans bow tie. I am bow tieless. This is my back patio. Kind of a mess. My cats love to sit out here, especially like, you know, on this spot here and, and on the thing. You see? There she goes right now. They love to sit out here and just check everything out. But it's kind of a mess. I'm not really taking care of it. And some of the stuff has died because planter here is just not very good and so so I'm going to replant some things and I'm going to try to make it more cat friendly and give them some places to be up high and down low. Okay aside from just cleaning up the mess one of the things I want to think about is safety. Obviously when they come out here I want to make sure that they can't get out of here and get out to where they might get run over by a car or in this area eaten by coyotes. Terrible things can happen so I'm kind of lucky because I have this shrubbery which forms kind of a natural barrier for them and uh, they have not been able to get out of it. They do make fences which come out and over just a little bit and they're made of this like soft mesh stuff that when they grab onto it they just sort of fall back and can't climb up and over it and so if they start to get out and over it I'm going to make sure that I get one of those. The second thing aside from a mess bleh, is to make sure that the plants are safe for them as well. So I've got a few right here. This is just a few herbs like tarragon and sage, just a little bitty thing there, and then a, a dwarf lemon tree. But I'm gonna get some other things that they can sit on and chew on, and I'll show you how I make sure that everything is safe. Now my little notes that I made from my research. Let's go see what they have. So I don't know what a lot of these are. I don't know what some of them are. So if I don't know, I can easily look up on the ASPCA website they have toxic plants listed. Pretty, drought resistant, toxic. Maybe these blocks will work. Because maybe I can just set the things on top of the blocks. I just spent a lot of time wandering around that, that home improvement store. Um, and a lot of the plants kind of didn't look so great. I know it's late summer, early fall, and a lot of people are not doing a lot of planting of things, but this is Southern California. We go all year round. So I'm gonna try another home improvement store that might have some of the things I'm looking for and we'll see if that works. Looking for, looking for plants can be difficult. So I'm finding more grasses here at this place. Hopefully this will help. Even this, which looks like just St. Augustine grass. So this, this one. I went to another home improvement store and I won't say which one, but lo and behold, somebody helped me and found all the stuff and then some that I needed. And for not very much, I'm gonna run an experiment and see what they, uh, what they like to sit on, what they don't. And I looked everything up on the ASPCA website of toxic plants and nothing is toxic. I don't look this one up. I'll look that one up. First things first, cleaning. Brushed a bunch of stuff out of the way. Now I gotta get out to the compost pile and then I'm going to replant the planter. Uh, it didn't have much drainage in there, so I put a little bit of drainage in the bottom and put new soil in because it was, every time I put something in there it would die because it wasn't soaking in. So hopefully the new soil that has a little more mulch in it will hold water a little bit better. Now I'm gonna make some levels for my cats to go on and I'm doing a little experiment, which I will show you in a minute. So I made another little level here and I just used, like this is an experiment, so I don't even know going to work or what's going to live or what they'll like or won't like but I got some just St. Augustine grass here and then another ground cover here and since I'm renting and I didn't want to spend a lot of money I just got like super cheap boards like a couple of bucks each and then the cinder blocks 
also like a dollar fifty each, probably not even that, dollar thirty, I think. Yeah, I think they were dollar thirty-five each. So really cheap. I spent, you know, less than twenty bucks on the levels for two levels, and then seventeen thousand dollars on plants. It's okay. I like plants. Pretty much done. I've got a couple of levels here and I've got new plants in and then the other side I've got my catnip which has been going gangbusters so remember if you're going to make some enrichment for your cats number one it has to be safe make sure they can't get out fence or hedging or something so they don't get out and get to places where they can get hurt number two safe plants they've got to be non-toxic very important and then things you do want to do are make sure they have levels places where they can go up and down and check everything out they like to have cubbies, they like to have levels, places where they can jump up and down and crawl in and look for crickets and grasses to chomp and things that are interesting for them. One problem I hear about a lot is cats using planters as a litter box. I get it, it kind of looks like a litter box. One way to deter cats from using the planters as litter boxes is to put some rocks in there. Yeah, see, Pazuki didn't really want to get in it. She just wants to be petted. The rocks make it not painful, not anything bad for them, but just a place where they really don't want to dig and use it as a litter box. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching me turn my patio into a catio. Pazuki.